How can a will be enforced or probated in the Philippines? Good day. I am Attorney Britannico. Today, we'll talk about how a last will and testament is used to transfer property to heirs. A will has to go through a court process called probate. Without a probate, a will cannot be used to transfer property. Why does a will have to go through probate? A will has to go through probate where the court will decide whether it meets the formal requirements for a last will and testament. It is only when a will is valid that it can be used to transfer an inheritance. It is the court's job to check if a will is valid and to authenticate it. So, until it is probated, a will cannot be used to transfer property from the will maker to an heir. What is probate? Probate is a court case. The court will check whether the will was properly made, if the person who made it had sufficient mental capacity, and if it meets the formal requirements fixed by law. For example, the court will check if the will was properly notarized, if it is a notarized will. Can you avoid probate? No, you cannot use a last will and testament without going through probate in court. Government offices will not register or allow the transfer of real property in the Philippines or shares of stock without being shown a Philippine court decision. Probate through a court case is necessary for property to be transferred to the heirs when a will is involved. Why should I have a will if it still has to go through probate? There are many reasons why you will want to have a will. Some of the most common are 1. To specify which parts of the property the heirs will inherit. 2. To disinherit someone. 3. To give someone, not usually provided for in the law, a provision in the will. 4. To give more than the required share to someone. When you want to do any of the above, you will need a will. Without a will, the default shares as specified in the law will be followed and not your wishes. Can I make a will on my own? It can be difficult for a layperson to make a will on his own. There are many requirements that have to be followed. A common example is when you want to disinherit someone. There are specific and limited grounds in the law by which a compulsory heir can be disinherited. Someone who wants to do so in a last will and testament has to know and follow those grounds and prepare evidence for them as a fact. If you want your will to do this, or other things for that matter, you will need to know the legal grounds and be prepared with evidence acceptable in court. When people attempt to make wills on their own, they are often unable to follow these rules because of lack of knowledge. A will is really not something you want to do as a DIY, do-it-yourself project. A will made without understanding the law may well be rejected by the court as invalid when it is submitted for probate. What is a will? It is a written document. It determines how property is given to heirs. Through a will, a person can control, to a certain degree, the disposition of his estate to take, to take effect after his death. In the Philippines, there are two types of wills. One, first there is the handwritten or holographic will, and Two, the notarized or notarial will. What formal requirements do wills have to follow? A will must follow specific requirements written into the law for it to be valid. For instance, among the requirements for a notarial will are 1. Its pages must be numbered. 2. It must be signed by the testator on every page. 3. Three witnesses must also sign it in the testator's presence. 4. It has to be notarized. On the other hand, if a will is holographic, it must be handwritten, dated, and signed. The final signature must be at the end, below all the provisions. Corrections on the will must also be authenticated with a full signature. Note that this is not an exhaustive list of formal requirements. There are others, some specific to each situation. What substantive requirements do wills have to follow? 
In addition to the formal requirements, a will must follow substantive requirements. To give an example of a substantive requirement, a Philippine will must comply with the law on legitimes or compulsory heirs. Although a will gives a testator certain freedom to decide how his or her property is to be allotted, the law places limits on this freedom by reserving portions of the inheritance for compulsory heirs. This law must be obeyed for the dispositions of the will to be valid. There can be situations where a compulsory heir can be disinherited, but this inheritance itself must follow certain requirements and rules. Does a foreign will probated abroad still have to be probated in the Philippines? A foreign will must be submitted to a Philippine court for it to be given effect here. There are some common situations where this is needed. If the deceased was a foreigner who left behind real or personal property in the Philippines, such as an apartment or shares of stock, if the deceased was a Filipino dual citizen who created a will abroad which concerns Philippine real or personal property. As we said, government offices will not register or allow the transfer of Philippine real property or shares of stock without the proof of a Philippine court decision. For this reason, probate of a foreign will is necessary before it can transfer inherited property or sell it. Can a foreign will be probated in the Philippines without going through probate abroad? Yes, a foreign will doesn't have to first be probated abroad before being probated in the Philippines. For instance, if you have a Filipino aunt who died abroad and left you property through a will made in the U.S., this will can be probated in the Philippines without first going through probate in the U.S. Where is a will probated? A will is probated in the city or province of the deceased's permanent residence. If his permanent residence is abroad, then the will should be probated where the property is located. The case is filed at the regional trial court of that city or province. Can my will be probated while the person who made the will is still alive? Yes, it may even be advisable to probate a will while the person who made the will is still alive. Although most wills are brought to court after the testator dies, there is nothing to stop the testator from filing for probate while he or she is still alive. This can be more convenient. The court will be able to see for itself that the person creating the will is of sound mind. The court can also more easily ensure that the will comes from the testator and faithfully explains his wishes. What is the process of probating a will? Anyone with interest in the estate or the person who made the will himself can file for probate in court. After the case is begun, the court will issue an order giving public notice of the probate case. This notice must be published in a local newspaper, and the notice shall be delivered to the known heirs, legatees, and devices. The will must be submitted to the court. Witness testimony and other evidence will be necessary to prove the will.